What's up you guys, Joe Dobby here. I am now a Deck Out Gaming affiliate. Use Joe Dobbs Deck Out at checkout. Deck Out Gaming has tons of singles for Pokemon, Dragon Ball Super, and Digimon TCG, as well as One Piece. They now buy list as well, so don't hesitate to reach out and uh, they got your back. Really high customer service ratings. Thank you guys. And uh, yeah, let's get to the video. What's up you guys, it's Joe Dobby here back at it again with another video for you today. Um, I have not done one of these in a while, so bear with me. Um, I'm gonna be doing an EX4 purple set review. Um, I'll be going over all the purple cards that is featured in EX2 and kind of just discuss how these cards could be very good in synergy with the other previous cards from previous sets and how I would potentially be using them in the different decks that I plan on building. Now there are some standalone decks here, like you can build the um, Cherubimon, for example here, or you can build the Ravemon or Ravemon, but um, I just wanna go over the kind of like generic, uh, how to use most of these cards in the decks that we love and what I think of the new level six support that we will be seeing and how good they could be as standalone cards. But that said, we're gonna get started. Um, Pinamon is the only egg in EX4 for purple. The on deletion effect is really good here, guys. It's inheritable is if not deleted by battle, gain a memory. So if it is deleted through Deathclaw, if it is deleted through Black War Gralmon's inheritable effect to delete and unsuspend, um, any other thing, like by effect, basically, um, you gain a memory. This synergizes very well with a lot of things that you want to do. For example, Eismon Scatter Mode, if you still play that card. Uh, Deathclaw will be a zero cost in order to delete it if Scatter Mode does have jamming when you attack with it, which I think is a very good thing. Um, another combo that's really good is for a lot of builds that will be deleting your lesser Digimon to strengthen your uh, stronger or main or win condition Digimon, like the Gilmon that is, has the on deletion effect of if this Digimon is deleted by effect, gain a memory. This will net you two memory if there's a Pinamon underneath. I definitely think this card is pretty good as just generic overall, but we're going to dive over, uh, dive into how else it can be used in the future. Next, we've got Gilmon here. I think this Gilmon is very, very powerful. Um, it allows you to play around the need for a hybrid or a tamer um, and just gets you to find ways to swing for game from out of nowhere. So Gilmon's on play effect is if the total trashes of both players' cards or add up to 20 or more cards, this Digimon gains rush. So I think this is actually really amazing. Um, simply because if you've got three memory and you kind of have a board, you've swung for everything except lethal, but you don't have a tamer, you can drop this Gilmon. And if you've got 20 or more cards in trash as a combination of yours and your opponents, um, you basically can just swing for game. Um, I really like this card quite a bit. This can actually be, in my opinion, a one of in Beelzemon, or you can even play this as a two of and potentially do pretty well with it. Um, you get to 20 cards pretty quickly in decks like Beelzemon anyway, so if you're able to return this from trash to hand and drop it for 3 memory and still have the memory to win, um, or play it with Rush, you can basically swing for game, which I think is a very cool thing. Next, we've got Black War Growlmon here. When Digivolving, both players trash the top two cards of your decks. Then you may return one Gilmon or one card with Growlmon or Gallopmon in its name from your trash to hand. So that is also a very, very cool effect. So it synergizes directly with the Gilmon because it allows you to like drop it for three swing for game, etc. A lot of the Gallopmon support is also like when you delete something, gain a memory, which I think helps that Gilmon um, had have even more value, which I think is really powerful. I'm definitely going to be dabbling into Chaos Gallopmon once again and, and Megidramon and all this good stuff just because I like the dark evolution of Gilmon. Um, I think that duality is really cool. And its inheritable effect is on deletion. You may return one Gilmon or one Gralmon or Gallopmon in its name from trash to hand. So that's also a very, very good on deletion effect. Um, just allows you to return things. Next, we have Black War Growlmon. So this art is super cool. I think this art goes very, very hard. 
When digivolving both players trash the top three cards of their decks, then choose any number of your opponent's Digimon whose total DP adds to 3,000 or less and delete them. For every 10 cards in both players' trashes, add 2,000 to the maximum DP that you can choose with DP-based deletion effects. So that Digivolving effect is super powerful because that stacks with a lot of the inheritables that add to the DP as well when you do something, um, which I think is pretty powerful. And uh, yeah, Black War Groundmon at 8k is obviously a very good safe swing as well, which I do really like. Um, and it stays on the board for longer just in case you're unable to get to your, um, for whatever reason, if you're unable to get to Gallimon in the same turn. Next, we've got Chaos Gallopmon here. This has a trash effect, which I'm very excited for. By deleting one of your Digimon with a Digivolution card and Gallopmon in its name, so it has to have a Digivolution card underneath, um, you may play this card without paying its cost on play. Delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 7k DP or less, and then add plus 2k for every 10 cards in trash. <clears throat> so, that on play effect is actually really powerful because you can come out of nowhere, have a body, and delete your opponent's Digimon and depending on how many cards you have in trash you can potentially delete their level 6 and have a level 6 on your side of the board as well. I also think that the bridge to red and purple is super powerful because it gives you access to red and purple level 7s um, which can pretty much help you finish the game a lot quicker or give you some sort of defensive play. In addition to that, um, I really do like the fact that this synergizes very well with cards that have Gallimon in its name like Megidramon. So it allows you to play Megidramon from uh, the last two Megidramons that have been released basically or the last three even. I'm not so sure about the Dragons one, um, but the other two definitely. And that's just the beautiful alt art. Thought I'd show it because I think it's really, really nice. And our fake Agumon Expert, our second one since the game has been launched. Your turn once per turn when an opponent's Digimon is deleted by trashing one card from your hand with the same level as the deleted Digimon, draw two. That is super powerful because you can trigger this once per turn and where, you know you can do like Deathclaw towards what, using one of your other Digimon um, or anything like that to delete one of your opponent's Digimon. And then you can trash a card from your hand with the same level to draw two. So that's pretty cool. Cool. Um, it's kind of like, the only worry I have with this is like, it's not like delete the same level or lower. It looks like it has to be the exact same level. Um, don't quote me on that, might be an errata, but that's kind of how it is. And that kind of makes it a little bit harder to pull off. But anyways. Yeah, interesting. Okay, so uh, we've got Falcomon here, which is another cool card. Um, on play, reveal the top three cards of your deck. Add one purple card with Ravemon in its name, or Bird in one of its traits, and a Keenan Crier from among them to your hand. On deletion, if it's not deleted by battle, your opponent trashes one card in their hand. So there is some hand control now, which is really cool. Some punishment or hand disrupt on your opponent's side of the field, which I think is neat. Um, very good stuff. Just searches for the Ravemon support. I do like this alt art, I think it's very cute. Next, we've got Wendigomon, and we finally get our first Alliance stuff. So, um, Alliance. When this Digimon attacks by suspending one of your other Digimon, <clears throat> add the suspended Digimon's DP to this Digimon, and it gains security attack plus one. This is very, very powerful, I think, um, and it pairs well with like the matte structure deck Elecmon, which is like a 5k rookie, because <laughs> there are gonna be instances where if you've got Wendigomon and that Elecmon happens to be in your trash, you can like use Night Raid to bring out that Elecmon and then swing with Wendigomon, suspend the Elecmon, essentially be four plus 5k, so be a 9k swing sec plus one, which I think is a very, very strong Kind of like good way to start um and then if you survive you can do all kinds of stuff like digivolve into a level five which could potentially like um advance your board state even further inheritable effect though is end of attack once per turn if you have another suspended digimon return one green digimon card from your trash to hand which i think is pretty nice um there's gonna be a lot of green cards that i will experiment with as well as uh you know with the whole like dark evolution of uh, Terriermon or Lopmon pretty much, Lopmon uh, basically, and um, yeah, figure that out. 
Next, we've got Pekmon. Um, not enthusiastic about this design. It's like a chocobo from the <laughs> Naruto Naruto uh, universe. Anyways, when digivolving, if you don't have Keenan Crier in play, you may play a Keenan Crier, so that's pretty good. On deletion, if not deleted by battle, your opponent trashes one card in their hand. So yeah, that deletion effects, these deletion effects ultimately, even the Pinamon is ultimately going to help the Ravemon support. But I was just thinking of ways that it could um, also work in other builds. Oh, sorry, before that, we actually hit Chromon. So Chromon here, um, when attacking, if you have a Purple Tamer in play, this may Digivolve into Ravemon. So that's super good, right? Like a when attacking Evo effect. I think that's very, very powerful. Um, and on deletion, if not deleted by battle, delete one of your opponents level five or lower. So I do like that it does have that answer to board state as well. Um, I think the Falcomon and Pekmon is enough, like just hand disrupt is fine there. Um, but the next inheritable effect, if you do get the full line, I think should be something else. And deletion is a very good um, alternative. Next, we have Antillamon, so more alliance, which I think is super good. Um, end of attack, you may play one green level three Digimon card from your trash without paying its cost. I think that's very powerful because then you can start playing cards that search in green. Um, like there's a Palmon that just looks for a level four. Uh, or you can also play cards that um, are basically floodgates and green has a lot of floodgates. Green has floodgates that control memory like Terriermon um, that prevent uh, Digivolution costs from being reduced, prevent like, uh, you know, all those good stuff. <laughs> Um, anyways, in Inheritable Effect once per turn, if you have another suspended Digimon, return one green Digimon card from trash to hand. So that's pretty cool. Um, I do like that recurring effect and I think this... I just feel like there's so much potential in Alliance to be like a mid-range aggressive deck that um, it allows you to play a lot of tech options and when you pair it with green, it allows you to like play things that suspend or use things that would suspend your opponent's blockers, which I think is very powerful. Next, we've got Ravemon. So the first boss of purple for EX4. This has jamming, um, which is pretty neat. And end of attack by deleting this Digimon that has Digivolution cards with bird in one of its traits at the end of the opponent's turn you may play a ravemon from trash on deletion if you if your opponent has eight or more cards they trash one card in their hand if your opponent has seven or fewer cards they trash the top card of their security and add it to their hand oh they don't trash it they take it and add it to their hand so that's interesting. I like that it has jamming because then it works directly with its end of attack effect. So you really just have to hit removal and security or bounce and security to get rid of Ravemon. Otherwise, you are likely going to be triggering its end of attack to replay a Ravemon, which I think is pretty neat. Um, on deletion as well is very good because it pretty much like, it's basically a trash from security, which is neat. Um, depending on the number of cards your opponent has in their hand. And naturally, that's the more desirable effect, which is why you have Falcomon and Pekmon's Inheritable that's on deletion to get your opponent to trash cards and reduce by uh, their hand size to, to like less than eight or less than seven um, to trigger that secondary effect. So that's a beautiful alternate art. I think I really want to play Ravemon. I'm kind of really into it. And I'm going to figure out a way to um, make this card very, very powerful uh, as far as builds concerned. Next, uh, Dark Cherubimon or just Cherubimon straight up in the middle of the Digi City Alliance at 12k, which is pretty neat. Um, at this point, like anything can pretty much boost its DP up the 15k threshold and you should be okay. When digivolving until the end of your opponent's turn, this Digimon and one of your level 5 or lower Digimon gain on deletion, play this card without paying the cost. So I do like this as a tech option um, for the Ravemon combo, because then it's like, oh, if it gets deleted, you can play it again. If it gets deleted, play it again, etc. Um, or I do like Cherubimon just for Alliance's sake, right? Like, you can go... If you're suspending something swinging with a level five um, to get that alliance effect, so like Antillamon, uh, and the Antillamon survives and the rookie or whatever Digimon you used for the alliance effect survives, um, you can then Digivolve into Cherubimon and then you're protecting the Cherubimon and the other Digimon 
because we're both suspended, but on deletion, they get to replay the card. So um, Crimson Blaze, hard counter, but at the same time, Cherubimon kind of sets you up for the next Alliance swing. And this time you're a level six, which is even more powerful, which I really, really like. Next, we finally have Keenan Cryer. <clears throat> Start of turn. If you have two or more, or if you have two memory or less, set to three. Beautiful. And all turns, when one of your purple Digimon with Ravemon in its name or bird is deleted, you can draw one by suspending. If that Digimon was deleted by an effect, gain a memory. So even better, right? We do love that. Um, it's inheritable, it's just play it at its cost. And we have the full alternate art there, the full art, very nice. Dirty Hero seems like a really cool card, you guys. So while you have a green Digimon or Tamer in play, you may use this card without meeting its color requirements. So that's a super, super cool, flexible um, effect. Main, delete one of your opponent's level three Digimon, then place this card in your battle area. And its delay effect is, your opponent may trash one option card from their hand if they do not gain two memory. So there is a caveat to the gaining two memory delay effect unlike other memory boosts, because it's not a boost, right? It's like a way to control. Um, but I do really like it because now your opponent has to trash something from their hand, which they could potentially use. So if they're tr if you're using this to trash their memory boost, they're losing a searcher and potential memory gains, which is super powerful. And you get to delete a rookie. Oh, before that, we get Ame no Ohabari. Uh, main effect, by deleting one of your Digimon, delete one of your opponent's Digimon whose level is less than or equal to that Digimon. If one of your Digimon is Ravemon was deleted by this effect, you can play one Ravemon from your trash without paying its memory cost. So I'm very curious. I actually think that you would be triggering this Ravemon effect to play another Ravemon, and then you could trigger this on that Ravemon to delete it, and you could potentially end up with two Ravemon instead of one which is super powerful. Its security effect is very nice too. Delete one of your opponent's Digimon at the lowest level. There's so many shenanigans with Ravemon here that I am pretty excited to build it and figure out what I could do. And next we've got Shine Greymon Ruin Mode. When Digivolving and on deletion until the end of your opponent's next turn, all your opponent's Digimon get minus 5k DP. Now, End of attack, delete this Digimon and one of your opponent's Digimon, and recover plus one. Then, if you have a Tamer in play, hatch one Digi Egg card to an empty space. That's super powerful, actually. <laughs> All your opponent's Digimon until the end of your opponent's next turn get minus 5k DP. So that's like a blanket effect. So if I were to drop like a rookie, I'm pretty sure it would just die um, until the end of my next turn, right? So. That's pretty good. Um, end of attack as well. Delete this Digimon and one of your opponent's Digimon and recover plus one. So that's pretty good because um, it's end of attack. So you can recover plus one every time you kind of get a successful swing in. Um, but you are deleting the Shine Greymon, so it's kind of whatever. Yeah, very good stuff. Uh, I do like this card as kind of like a, it's, it's such, it seems like it's such a good tech. Uh, against Alliance um, in every purple deck, right? Because you Digivolve over this when you your opponent has like lethal from Alliance. Like sometimes lethal might not be obvious. Like I might have a Digimon with Alliance. My opponent might have nothing else on the board. Um, and then if they drop that rookie, they get to trigger Alliance, right? Well, this, if you, if you Digivolve into this beforehand, that minus 5k DP could potentially delete the rookie that they dropped or trigger it at zero, which could be pretty good. Uh, and the beautiful alternate art of Shine Greymon Ruin Mode. But that said, guys, I'm still a little bit new to Shine Greymon Ruin Mode's effect. If there's anything that I needed to clarify or if there's any mistakes made, let me know in the comment section below. Um, overall, this set is looking fun and looking quite healthy for me. So I'm going to be dabbling with Alliance and Green because I really do want to see um green purple like i've always wanted to make green purple shine somehow and i think this is the way to do it um i love the control elements and putting both together just seems really pain for your opponent but ravemon seems like an incredibly fun deck that i think everybody should get the chance to play the gallopmon and chaos gallopmon support is another thing that i'm going to end up wanting to build so um let me know in the comment section below which deck you want me to build first and thank you guys so much for watching peace